I never met August Alcina, but I just don't believe him. You know, I don't believe a nigga to just pop back up when the time is convenient. You wait till Jada and her damn shirt. She on season three of Red Table Confessions. And you just pop up and go and tell Angela Yee about you and Jada having a rendezvous. Mm, don't believe you. I don't believe you. And the reason why I don't, I have a hard time trusting a nigga whose last name ain't seen him. Nigga, we ain't even seen you. Your name is August, ain't seen him. So how the fuck you just pop up? You a friendly game of hide and go seek at this hour. I, I can't believe it. I, I just can't. I just can't. Especially that part when he was like, Will gave him permission to love on Jada. I just, mm-mm, mm-mm. Because, you know, I like to go back and play all Will and Jada's moments in my damn mind. Will loved Jada so fucking much. He's so passionate about her that he remember every day of the day of they fucking marriage. This nigga remember 22 years worth of fucking marriage. Will got a story for everything that him and Jada ever did. He be like, you know, I remember that time I came out and I told Jada, I was like, you know, I'm, I'm afraid of falling out of love with you. What can I do to love you more? And Jada looked at me, you know, with those glassy eyes, and she was just like, you know, Will, <laughs> I've never been more in love with you than I am right now. And at that time, no, no, here's the thing. Yeah, she told me that. Here's the thing. At that time, I realized that I'm no longer just Will, and she's Jada. We're one. We're Wada. And that's the type of shit that Will says about his fucking wife. So, August, I'm not gonna believe that he gave you permission to go and fuck her. I just, I just, I don't believe that. I just don't believe it. I ain't gonna believe it. It's just that this man shouldn't be that passionate about his wife and then let you go and drive the keys to, get the keys to his car. That just, mm -mm, no ma'am, no ma'am. And I ain't even the part that behooved me. What behooved me was, he waited till the end of June to dawn all of this shit on us. Y'all already know what come after June. Exactly. Why'd you lie, my nigga? Why'd you lie, August? You could have told us the truth in motherfucking August. You gonna give us piping hot tea that ain't even hot. We don't even want to hear that shit. It's been three years since they done kicked you out the Smith house. You was there when Willow was whipping her hair back and forth. Willow ain't even got no fucking hair no more. She looked like me under here. So I just don't, I don't, I don't, mm 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 Besides, I just don't feel like Jada got enough time to even be fucking August. Jada barely got enough time to be fucking Will. Jada's worried about the red table talk, her mama and her looking good as a motherfucker, her daughter whipping her hair back and forth, her son gay straight or undecided. That's not for me to depict. But Jada got too much fish to fry and it ain't yours, August. I don't know about y'all, that nigga was just looking too confused for me. Just like his damn hairdo. I said, how the fuck you looking like the damn it bus drive off the Magic's Cube bus? You looking very Miss Frizzleish about the fucking face. Telling lies on... Well, I don't know if it's a lie or not, because I'm just going to say Jada is a Virgo. You know, Virgos can wear a face and act like they ain't did it, but I'm just going to be pro Jada and Will because I grew up with Will. I, I just not too long ago discovered August.